Hi, this is Catherine Rosen with Board Game Geek. I'm sitting here with Fabian Konu from Matago, and he's here to talk about zombies versus cheerleaders. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a fun game, a silly theme, but for a game that is not that silly, it's actually quite a strategic game. Oh, interesting. It, um, it's a tower defense game, so you know, like the video game Plants vs. Zombies. This is pretty much uh, uh, the same kind of feeling you get. So in, in this game, uh, there is a university in the US uh, where something bad happens and pretty much everybody turns into zombies, except for a team of cheerleaders. Fantastic. And so they are basically trying to save the world or actually save themselves from this horde of zombies that are coming after, after them. So it's a two-player game, asymmetrical. Mm -hmm. One player will play the zombies. So he had tons of zombies uh, to manage. All along and, their way to get yeah, the cheerleaders. Exactly, and the, the other player will play the cheerleaders and will try to survive. So the goal of the cheerleaders is to destroy all the zombies, and the zombies, they need to try to eat one cheerleader. Okay. So they have barricaded themselves behind uh, desks and chairs and whatever they, they could find, you know, and they've made weapons out of... Whatever they have handy. Whatever they have handy, <laughs> right. like, for example, this, yeah. Or, you know, <laughs> underwear, right? Yeah, Molotov cocktails and uh, the. Oh, I got a chemistry here. Yeah, chemistry lab, very of nice, course. Very nice. And the frisbee with razor blades uh, stick, uh, stick oh, to, to it. So. so, yeah, and basically that's the idea. And of course, you have uh, zombies that are coming after you, um, like the Geek Squad, um, uh, the, um, how you call it? The, the kitchen lady, yeah. basically. Um, <laughs> We have the professor, of course. He's missing an arm, but anyway. Um, the uh, bass drum player, the football guy, yeah, of course. Right. <laughs> and finally, the baseball player. So each of these zombies have a special ability. For example, the baseball player can attack uh, from uh, a long range. Uh, the football player, when he's revealed, he immediately Goes moves as close ground. as possible. Uh, the bass drum player is useless, uh, <laughs> but it gives it actually gives a bonus to the cheerleaders when it's, it, he's killed. The professor is very strong, so you actually have to hit him twice in order to kill him, and so on and so on. So every each one is individual yeah, exactly. and each one is unique. Yeah. And, and each zombie has a strength value, so that the number of damage uh, he, he can uh, uh, deal, and has a stamina value. That's how much damage he can actually uh, take before before uh, he dies. As for the cheerleaders, again, they all have special weapons. Uh, for example, this one can kill one zone, the first zombie and, the, and a couple of zombies behind it, depending on the stamina of this this one. So she it's starts no with three. Yeah, she starts with three minus two, so it deals one damage to this one. And if it had enough, it would deal damage to the ones behind. Um, the thing is, all these cheerleaders, they have a certain amount of energy. And the energy is actually two things, it's their life, but it's also their ammunition. Ah. So every time they actually shoot, they kind of lose, uh, lose a life. And if they run out of life, well, so far, no problem, except that they cannot shoot anymore. But now if they get hit by a zombie. They die they, immediately. They don't die immediately, they first faint, basically. And if a zombie hits again, then they are, they are dead. All right. And so you basically have to use your abilities as, uh, uh, as best as possible, uh, either for the zombie player or for the cheerleader player. Try to make the best of where your zombies are, where your cheerleaders are. You can swap uh, the, the, the positions. And, you know, kind of a silly thing, but very strategic game where you have to manage your, your people your as best as possible. And, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. So, yeah. so it's a two-player game then? It's a two-player yeah. game, yeah. And it's actually, uh, all the illustrations are based on a, a, an American comic comic book okay. called Zombies vs. Cheerleaders. So it's um, something we discovered. So they agreed to make the illustration for, Fantastic. for the game. Fantastic. So. That's exciting. Yeah. And how long does the game typically take to play? It's, so we have four modes. In the fir first, well, the easy mode, you play with only four columns. So in this case, it's probably 20 minutes. And then you have an intermediate mode with five columns and the expert mode with six columns. With six columns, it can go on to 45 minutes uh, of, of okay. game. Great, thank you so much. Thank Which you. Is very interesting. That's zombies versus cheerleaders.